Hello everyone. Welcome to part 3 of OneNote. Today we are going to look at how do you proceed on OneNote to add more content. So since I have saved the OneNote files, my notes are saved. So I'm going to open them now. When I click the folders, under the folder that I have saved, I will see a folder with the notebook name. So we have created a notebook called Nkangala Tivet and you can see it now. So when I open it, we see all the sections that we were creating last time saved as different separate files as you see them now. So I'm going to open the notebook. Here is the file that will open the entire notebook. When I double click, it will load and open the notebook that we have created during part two. So remember during part two, we have created all the sections that you see here on top. And under every section, we have learned that you can have a page. So today we are going to open any page that we want to open, like I can go to Vatrafal Boven page, and we are going to learn on how to create a graph and also insert a picture. So in case if you are instructed to uh, create a graph, we all know that a graph comes from Microsoft Excel, but we are not going to open Microsoft Excel because all the tools that you see here on top are used to insert or to modify what we already have on our page or section. So I'm going to click insert. Then you will see we have spreadsheet. We know that a spreadsheet is Microsoft Excel. So if I click here on, on spreadsheet, we have two options. It's either you are going to uh, link an existing spreadsheet or create a new one. So let's create a new one. After I clicked there to create a new one, it will load as it's loading. And then now you see it has created a space where I can have my spreadsheet displayed. But I need to type the spreadsheet as I'm given. So if you want to type in this section, you have to open an editable spreadsheet so you click here where it says edit it will open excel as we know it after clicking that button so this portion that is highlighted it's where you are going to create the spreadsheet as you are given so the spreadsheet that we will create here will display there at the back so let's make an example. If I'm going to type January and then maybe here I type Monday. So if I can just autofill, we know what is autofill and also autofill Monday going down. It's an example of maybe creating a spreadsheet as you are given. Let's assume that our spreadsheet is containing this type of information. So, and then if maybe you have information like, as I'm typing now. So, if I'm going to autofill this, maybe just to have additional information, I can autofill there. You know, so if we have more information, as I'm typing now, 8.50 and then 9.50 there. So I will just autofill for the sake of having something created under my spreadsheet. So whenever you create a spreadsheet, nothing has changed because it's like you're working on Excel. But the main thing now is that you are actually doing this so that all the information will later be transferred to be on your notebook. So it opened a spreadsheet for you to work in the meantime so that at the end, whatever you do will be transferred there. So you see every time when I do any changes here, 
I can even insert borders around my numbers you know maybe you see that you had to make something uh, appear in a different font as we know maybe you make a different font adjust your columns so everything that you do now here as I'm doing is not appearing at the back at the moment because you didn't transfer it and I'm going to show you how to take the work back or to appear there on your notebook okay so now let's make for instance maybe you were also supposed to create a graph so I'm going to insert maybe a graph maybe they say the graph must compare January and March you know so it must compare January and March something like that and click insert we all know how to do it by now if you don't know or you are still struggling on Excel you, you need to watch the tutorials that I've created for Excel but here I want to show you how to take what is on Excel and put it on your notebook all right so now I'm inserting a column graph when I choose column graph you see that the graph comes there okay I'm still on my spreadsheet I'm still on my Excel so I can put my graph below my spreadsheet maybe you were told to change the title of the spreadsheet and maybe write a month months of sales in in a year okay right so everything that you know about excel you do it but now here comes the real thing whereby all this information that you were doing needs to show there the back so how do i do it simple you just go and click the icon save as i'm clicking there now okay once i click it all right the information now appears at the back there after i clicked the icon save all right so what happens now the information is also still on my spreadsheet where I'm still editing I can close this it won't ask me of saving or anything so the work that I've been doing it is now appearing on my notebook so if maybe you forgot to do some changes you still click edit all right then it will open Excel again with the same information and then we just add where we have to add or edit where we have to edit so to make it different I will just make my font to appear differently here okay and then maybe take this graph and put it to appear on the side like this and then I click save alright so what happens now is that when you look at the notebook as you see if I've after I've dragged this editable spreadsheet down you see that now my graph appears on the right hand side so that is how it works if I close the editable spreadsheet I have my notebook with my graph and my spreadsheet appearing right so how do you insert a picture you just go to insert and then you go and choose pictures okay so any picture that you can insert okay you just go and find the picture loaded under your folder as specified so i'm just going to open uh, to take any picture that i can use and then if i click insert the picture will come you can drag the picture anywhere where you have to put it so if the picture was supposed to appear above the graph I will just drag and drag it up until I'm above the graph and put it there just like that okay so that is how you insert a picture or a graph or create a spreadsheet remember when you are creating the nodes is simply typing after the heading you just press enter it takes you down like it did now then you add the information that is needed Thank you for watching. I hope you understand part three. See you next time.